Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at the Division gameplay beta, or the beta of Division gameplay. Um, it's not really a beta, it's more of a demo, but still, um, I'm going to take a quick look. I got 15 minutes of video here, but I'm probably going to try to talk for 5 or 10 of them, so let's get into it. Uh, first thing we're going to go in and look at is uh, your base, mother base, your base of operation, whatever you want to call it. Um, you got the security wing, the tech wing, and the medical wing. As you upgrade these wings, this is what gives you your abilities. Um, so it's not like you level up to five and you get a new ability. Pretty much what you have to do is you have to level up these wings to get the tech to, or to get the, you know, the items or the ability or the tech to do the ability. So that's a pretty cool way to do it. I like it. Really all your level effects is what gear you can use. And um, I think that's really about it. But anyway, the security wing's interesting, because as you walk by one of the NPCs, he says, you know, the security wing, if we upgrade it, we'll be able to protect our base easier. And that really makes me think that eventually at one time, either throughout the story or just through gameplay itself, your base is going to come under attack from one of the other function or factions, and you're going to have to defend it. And I think that's a cool concept, especially because of um, a few other reasons. Uh, but yeah, the crash drones and stuff like that, those are all things you can collect in the survival guides. Those are all things you can collect in the world. Um, I wasn't able to access the survival guides or the drone recordings or anything like that from those consoles. So I'm thinking that's something they kept out of beta and we'll be able to actually go there and access them and look at the actual logs um, in the actual game. Uh, vendors. The vendors are spread out throughout the, all the bases and in the dark zone. Um, vendors update every 24 hours. I really think they should update possibly um, every two, maybe four hours. Because um, it really doesn't take you that long to earn money to buy some of these guns. Um, especially if you go into the dark zone, you can easily earn, you know, 2000 2, bucks in an hour or two. Uh, so yeah, that 24-hour refresh period for the vendors is kind of ridiculous. But the beta is pretty small, so I guess if you have to run around and trying to look for a gun um, <laughs> all over the map, 24 hours might be a little better. So I really, all that I'm doing in this video is I'm just telling you my impressions and what I really find uh, horrible or bad about it. And the first thing that I find absolutely amazing about this game is the snow effects and the lighting, just how you have that little ozone and that little haze of the street lights and the snow. Um, the weather really goes from being you know, crystal clear and sunny to being an absolute driving snowstorm. Uh, so the weather's very cool. This here is a cool thing too. Once in a while civilians will come up and ask for assistance and you give them water, food, candy bars, canned food and stuff like that that um, you've collected throughout the level. Now these, oh they also ask for med packs too. Now all this stuff that you find you can also use not so far as a survival mechanic but like water gives you more damage to elites and I think candy bars do something else but they give you status buffs and not exactly you don't use them to keep yourself fed or to keep yourself hydrated or to keep yourself warm. Um, but it's really cool because um, as I ran into a mailbox. Um, it's really cool because you can sit there and you can collect all this stuff and even if you don't use it for yourself you still have something to do with it and when you give the candy bars or give supplies to a civilian they give you um, clothes and stuff like that and that's really useful. I like to look fancy when I'm running around a post-apocalypse New York or a post-outbreak New York. Um, and they start changing their mind, like when you first show up, they say, Oh, I thought the division was supposed to help us, or put that gun away, and, you know, kind of be apprehensive at you. But then after you give them enough stuff, uh, they started complimenting me, which was kind of weird because they were actually yelling at me for so long that the compliments seemed odd. Um, now, here's a concern of mine. Now, I know it's the beta, and I know that we just got the starting area. But my big concern is after I got done with the main mission, after I got done with all the little side missions and side ops that they gave me, this is usually what I was doing in the world. I was running around trying to collect things, talking to people, and stuff like that. Matter of fact, in this 15 minute video, I did not run into one encounter. Granted, I did play this on Monday when the beta was supposed to be over. Um, but it was still up for some reason, so I don't know if they took all the enemy encounters out. Be interesting, 
But I think if they did, if they take the same realistic mentality in the main game and have it where you, you know you just run around and there's little pockets of resistance here and there, it makes for an excellent, excellent reality. However, it makes for a poor, poor game because uh, really running from place to place, um, even fast traveling to a place and then running some other plays is really tedious if it's not broken up by combat or broken up by other things. Um, which this one really wasn't. Because uh, as I said, other than looking at the dogs and all this other stuff and looting, it, there really was no combat. Uh, now as I said, I know that it's the beta and I know that it is the starting level, so it could be that since we're close to our mother base or close to our headquarters, you know, the area is pretty secure. But I'm hoping, really hoping that as we get out in the main game to other parts of the city, it starts being like Riker controlled territory or cleaner controlled territory where there's a lot more encounters and we're actually, you know, crawling through the streets trying to get someplace through enemy controlled territory. I think that would be cool, but I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do it. Um, so, with that said, it's one of those things that. In the beta, it was kind of disappointing, having nothing to do other than just run around and you know collect stuff because there wasn't really a lot of people to shoot at after you completed the missions. But really, other than that, that would be my only big concern and big problem about the beta. Oh, other than the fact is you go in and you loot something, and the thing sets on the ground, and you can't pick it up, and you don't know what it is. I don't know if it was an item that they didn't want you to pick up in the beta, or if it was that my backpack was full. But it happened all the time to where I went to loot something, an item would fall on the ground, wouldn't tell me what it was, and I couldn't pick it up. Um, now, this is the map. The map is pretty large, but I don't think it's going to be as big as we think or we hope. Now, as you see, the beta area is probably about a quarter of the map they give us to run around in. And um, that's really okay, as long as they jam-pack those areas with stuff to do. Because as I said, I probably got done with the starting area in like an hour or two. Um, and that was just, that was, you know, doing all the extra stuff that I wanted to do along with it. So it's really really important that the map may not be that big as long as they give us stuff to do in the map. Um, so we're not just running around the streets looking for random stuff and helping out civilians. Um, why she gave me? Oh yeah, she dropped a gray shotgun. I usually help them just for the clothes. Um, now as far as the loot goes in the game, I have noticed that the loot is varied and there's a lot of it. Um, mostly they give you a lot of attachments for your weapons. Um, as far as the attachments and all the customization and all that other stuff, I'm going to go through that in the Dark Zone video because I'm splitting this up into two different videos, uh, one for the main world and one for the Dark Zone because really they're two different games. Um, and as far as the ecosystem goes, the ecosystem is an interesting thing. We're actually going to take a look at that right here. As you see, no, no, wrong part of the game. I got excited. Um, the ecosystem's cool because there's birds, rats, and dogs. So they really set up a good ecosystem where one eats the other and scavenges off the other. But anyway, you never find a cat because cats exist, but you never really see them unless they want you to. Um, but yeah, that lighting effect is absolutely awesome. Uh, let's see what else to say. Um, oh, the echo system. If you continue watching this video, we're going to run into an echo. Um, the echo system is kind of like um, a history, like a holographic history of the area that you're in. Um, and it really adds depth to the game. It really makes you feel like, okay, shit has gone down here before, and I'm, you know, in the wake of it. Um, not only that, but it's really cool that once you activate an echo, you can actually go around and inspect the different... Um, things in the echo and get to uh, get pieces and, um, and deeper history and what actually happened there. And I think it's pretty cool, especially if they're going to have you do quests where you have to go to an echo, understand what's happening, and then go to a certain place to complete the quest. Um, it's a real cool, real cool concept that I'm looking forward to experiencing more. 
Um, but as I said, we're coming up in 10 minutes. I don't really want to ramble for the entire 15 minutes, even though it's a five extra minutes, right? But anyway, I'm Jadis Joe. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. Um, but more importantly, have fun and be safe, and be sure to look out for uh, my Dark Zone video. It's much more entertaining than this one, because we actually get to shoot at folk. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. You said you were gonna ship. Careful where you're Peace. aiming at. This is your final warning. Vacate the area or be forcefully removed. You are interfering with... Son of a bitch! We don't have anywhere else to go. We were told there would be shelter. Please, my baby is starving. I'm overwhelmed.
You got no reason to get in my face, friend. <laughs> 